Welcome back to another unexpectedly random product review. So today, we're going to be reviewing Lunchables Crispy Grilled Cheesies. Now let me be very clear, it is definitely a cheesy. Your grilled cheesy in three easy steps. So they are cheesies, not just grilled cheeses, um, in this particular application. And let me shrink this. Uh, let me shrink this feller back down. Uh, do, 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 do this button. That button. There we go. Zoom. So we have Lunchables crispy grilled cheesies. The first thing I want to point out is this is a unique design. Unique. Not the product. The crisping tray. It is a full-on 360 crisp box set up. It's got a lid that, that as it warms up, it sets down on top of it. It's crazy. Um, We've seen a lot of things on this channel for crisping products. I have never seen something like this. It fascinates me. So we have two two flavors today. We did get um, both of them. That is uh, just a regular grilled cheese. And then there is a pizza one, I believe. Pepperoni pizza flavored one. This one right, right here. So we're going to be trying them both. Um, hopefully we can get some decent cheese stretch action. These little trays are adorable though. It's got like vent holes in the sides that function as handles and it's just super cool. Um, two minutes and they're ready. It's 60 seconds cooking, 60 seconds uh, uh, chilling so they don't dissolve your face. I'm going to see if I can give you some of this uh, crispiness here. Are you ready? So it does get quite crispy. One important thing that I think everybody should probably know about. Well, first, look at that golden crust on there and that melty cheese and everything. It just looks beautiful. It reminds me of like a flat top grilled roll. We used to have a restaurant in town that they would, uh, if you got one of the dinners, you got a roll with it. Um, and I generally get honey for my roll because it was great. And then I'd also mix it with my barbecue sauce for my chicken. Uh, they had a real nice spicy barbecue sauce, but massive sidebar. So they'd take the roll and on one side of it, they would like sear it on the flat top grill and it was great absolutely wonderful had a really good crispiness to it it was just super duper good and so since then things that are sorry for the earthquake um things that are flat top grilled like that always uh peak my interest I guess it is rather oily I will give you that which isn't particularly uncharacteristic of a grilled cheese let's see if we can get some cheese stretch get a little bit of cheese stretch there They're not real hot anymore, because I prepped them before we started. Um, they are still warm. Now, what I was gonna, what I was saying, is <laughs> if you try these before you cook them, you take the plastic off, and then it's supposed to go in the microwave for a minute on on a paper towel. Make sure you check and make sure your cheese hasn't dislodged itself, <laughs> because they're not packed tightly in the box. And my cheese was looking like something out of a McDonald's uh, assembly line. It was, 
<laughs> it was way off on the side and that would not have resulted in a very good experience and that's really no fault of of the product or the manufacturer that's just what frozen cheese does on frozen bread so it's a it smells delightful it's i mean it smells literally like a grilled cheese it's it's already making me excited for this Well, it's honestly a little less crispy than I thought it would be. It seems like maybe one side of it, probably the bottom, gets crispier than the top does. But otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward grilled cheese sandwich. I think the biggest thing about this is more about the convenience more than the product itself. And what I mean by that, it tastes fine. I mean, it tastes fine. You can you can taste the the cheese, um the the bread's pretty good. The crust is a little tough, but that's again not unusual for a grilled cheese sandwich. But this isn't something that really exists outside of this application. Going to the store, going to a convenience thing, I got this from a basic grocery store. Um, if you wanted grilled cheese, you're going to have to get cheese and get bread and take it home, butter your bread and throw it on the pan and cook it up yourself. Which takes a moderate amount of time and then you got to clean up the the griddle and or the the fry pan and everything this is definitely a much more convenient way to have a grilled cheese there are two of these sandwiches per box you can see that uh, right here on the box two of those sandwiches per box um, in my area they ran like six bucks six something i think so it's three bucks a sandwich really not bad as far as price is concerned now if they want to make a, a frozen lunchable because it is lunchables brand and instead of a drink Include a little cup of tomato soup. Slap one of one of these bad boys in it. You got yourself a uh, a lunchable kit. <laughs> hmm. I like it. It's fun. It's different. Flavor wise, it's kind of what you would expect from a slice of cheese on toast. Could probably use a little bit of salt, but that's a lot of personal preference there. I'm I'm actually quite happy with it. And the pricing, like I said, isn't bad for what you get. Now this other one that I have here, this one will probably take care of the salt concerns. Because this is the pepperoni pizza one. You can smell the pepperoni through it. Well, I can smell the pepperoni through it. I don't have uh, that dimension on the broadcasts or recordings yet, so you guys can't smell it. Again, I apologize for the earthquake. Minor, it'll end soon. Okay, it's kind of major as far as the earthquake is concerned. <laughs> Probably should have put these on a plate. It would make uh, cutting them easier. It smells like a good pepperoni. A little bit spicy, maybe. Mm. 
definitely the uh, tomato sauce in there as well. Here's your uh, obligatory sandwich cross section. Looks pretty tasty with the cheese on the top there and it's probably going to be pretty oily. But that's, again, to be expected with pepperoni things and things that are pan-fried replicas. Let's try and make sure I stay out from behind the, uh, the, the, the demo product. <laughs> That's actually a surprisingly mild pepperoni. It's got a real vibrant fragrance. But it's not it's not spicy at all. That's pretty cool. A lot of pepperoni gets spicy, and I know some people don't really like spicy stuff, so that kind of precludes them from being able to uh, partake of things like this. But yeah, and it seems like I don't know if it's just cut thin. Looks like it may just be cut cut thin. Sorry, I'm looking at it too low, so it's not showing on the screen. Um, looks like the pepperoni's cut thin enough that when you bite into it, you don't peel off the entire pepperoni zone. You just get what you're biting through, which is good. That's a very good thing. Flavor-wise, comparing the two of them, I think the pepperoni pizza one is better just because it has a more complex flavor um, with the pepperoni and the pizza sauce. But that's in, in no way discrediting the grilled cheese, the, the regular grilled cheese. For what it is, being grilled cheese, it definitely does its job. Hmm. <laughs> The texture of the bread, especially like the the crust rim, it reminds me of like a croissant. Croissant. Um, it's very kind of airy, I guess, while still being dense at the same time. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's it's got a bit of a chew to it, and that may be just because of how it uh, suffers in the cooking process. Flavor wise, I'm more than happy with this one. Mm -hmm. They're interesting. Um. I think that's probably my favorite part about it, is it's something different. Um, I know when I, when I went through the register, there were two or, pe two or three employees that were all surprised that Lunchables had the grilled cheese. They had never seen it before, and uh, so that was, that was kind of neat. And they, they all seemed excited about it, too. I like it. They're they're good. Try to think. Do I have any tomato <laughs> soup? We could go super classic on this. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Those are pretty cool. And the, I just, I can't get over the, the crisping box design. Lunchables 360 crisp, leave no side uncrisp. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Alrighty, well, that's going to do it for this uh, 
review. It's not always a, oh, this is good, this is bad. Sometimes it's just, hey, this is my take on this. This is the assessment that we've got here. And uh, I still say these are pretty good. <laughs> And really, if you had some soup or something to go with it, that would probably fix that, um, the toughness, the, the chewiness of the crust, because then you could saturate it in your soup, and then problem solved. So, that's pretty cool. Well, that's everything for this uh, product review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the Lunchables uh, Crispy cheese cheesies crisp <laughs> i was trying to read it but the font's so small from where i'm sitting crispy grilled cheesies and we will see you in the next one until then stay random this has been another unexpectedly random product review